YouTube Sequence Shinobi here with a review of the Power Rangers Megaforce Gyosei Ultimate Megazord, the second Megazord released in the Megaforce line uh, to go along with the Gosei Great Megazord as well as the Gosei Jet Megazord and Gosei Grand Megazord if you buy all the components to build them. So this is a standalone Megazord. It does not feature any sort of individual Zords or Mechazords. Uh, he is completely standalone and pretty awesome. Um, I do have to say, I've always liked Gosei Ultimate, he's been really goofy, and I kind of really always dug him. Of course, this guy comes with two more action card game promo cards, Promo 63 and 141, both Gosei Ultimate Megazord, one of which is the attack that fires the Ultra Zords, the other is of the spaceship mode. So you can summon him and attack with him. It works. So as you can see, the Gosei Ultimate Megazord is taller by a little bit. Not a whole lot, but he's got a little bit more bulk in the shoulders to give him a little bit extra height. And here he is next to the Japanese release of Gosei Ultimate. As you can see, the Japanese release was the big mecha of that year. It was very expensive, very big, and very much not worth the money. But uh, I got it for quite a bit cheaper on the secondary market. So I'm happy with the purchase, but as you can see, uh, the English release is missing, it's chrome. But outside of that, it is pretty much the same exact toy, just quite a bit smaller. Um, the other functionality that the Japanese release has, that the US one doesn't, is the fact that these Zords right here uh, do pop out. So as you can see, they pop out and um, are workable in any of the other Ghost Sager toys. Whereas the ones on here are uh, completely molded in. So there's no way to, uh, to pop these out. However, these are a lot smaller than the other Zords because of how scaled down he is. So even if they were removable, chances are they wouldn't have a Zord port on them. So it's not that big of a loss, but uh, definitely something worth pointing out because a lot of people were asking. So, um, I don't mind this guy at all. So functionality wise, uh, he doesn't really do too much on his own. Um, his attack, obviously, you can do that and emulate the attack. Obviously, they don't fire. It would have been nice to have these a little bit better painted as well. They're more or less just solid pieces of plastic with eyes. Um, but at least they have eyes, I suppose. That's better than nothing. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Uh, there's no elbow articulation, but Gosei Ultimate doesn't have it either. So you've just got a rotation right here, a knee joint, and a little bit of a joint there, and a little bit of toe action down here, but uh, that's all thanks to transformation. Um, but uh, his arms are a little bit gimpy, but other than that, he's very streamlined, and I like the way that he looks overall. Um, like I said, I've always liked his look, and it's nice to have a little bit more of a smaller, compact, cheaper version. Gosei Ultimate was not cheap by any means. When he was released, he was probably right around $120. Uh, whereas this release is a measly $34.99. So quite a bit cheaper. Granted, um, you lose out on a lot of the bulk of Gosei Ultimate, and you lose out on the chrome and the ability to pop off the Zords. But outside of that, it is virtually the same toy with a pretty much identical transformation. Now it does have these two little swords, they're unpainted but they are there. Um, and oh, Another thing you can do is combine the two swords to form a bow. So you can do that as well if you want to pose them with the bow instead of the swords. That's uh, always doable. 
as well. But like I said, not too much in the functionality department, but I've always just really liked this, this guy, so I'm really glad to have the American version as well. Transformation to its spaceship mode is very simple, um, and exactly the same as the Japanese counterpart, bearing this step right here, which requires you to spin this around, whereas the Japanese one is a flip down. Um, but outside of that, that's the only real difference here. This will fold up. I always get a little bit confused on how this goes. And uh, these actually clip in kind of tight. So getting them to kind of collapse down is a little bit of a challenge sometimes. All right, so fold the dragon down, just like that. Fold that in. Fold these guys. Out. Fold the toes in. Those will peg in right there. Those will peg in right there, and there you have the spaceship mode. This is the above view. The bottom view has a lot of color and such, but uh, it rolls pretty nicely. Like I said, it rolls. It does have storage for the weapons right down here. Those just plug in right down there, and there you go. That's what it does. It rolls. Um, I like the, the look of it. It reminds me a little bit of the War Starship, but obviously quite a bit different. Um, it's functioning as the base for the Megaforce Rangers. If you take a good look at the outside of their base, it is shaped very much like this, and that actually plays a little bit into this toy, which I'll get into in a second. So um, the, the spaceship mode's pretty nice. It doesn't really have too much else in functionality. However, when in this mode, it can uh, come by with Gose Great in two different ways. So Gosei Great can stand on top there and wheel himself around. Uh, not a whole lot of functionality in there, but um, it's something that it can do. And then alternatively, um, Japan actually didn't have this functionality because uh, Gosei Great couldn't spread its legs far enough to uh, sit comfortably in there. Um, but uh, it did have this functionality, which is simply to go like this. That was its uh, combination, the Gosei, Ultimate Gosei Great. So I assume this is the Ultimate Gosei Great Megazord. But all it does is attach Gosei Ultimate loosely onto the back and act as a jetpack. So you can fly him around and such like this. Um, with earlier releases of Gosei Great, it does not peg in there that securely. Those tabs just are really loose. Uh, so you're going to have to watch it. The newer ones shouldn't really have that big of a problem with it. Um, officially, its wings are supposed to go down like this, but the American release can't really do that because the wings are a little bit taller than they are on the Japanese version of Gosei Great. But uh, yeah, it's it, it's a thing. It's not great, but it's something that the toys can do. Finally, this has a base mode, something that the Japanese version doesn't have at all. And it's actually pretty cool. So all you do is pop off the legs. Swing those around. Fold these in so that I can sit flat. Retain the Indian sitting position-esque thing. Take your ghost same morpher. He'll plop right in there and it'll sit comfortably in those grooves, and you have what they call the base mode. So this is actually pretty cool. It emulates the um, effect from the show pretty nice in the fact that Gosei is on the wall inside the command center. Now, the inside of the command center is in no way Gosei Ultimate, but it, it does a decent job of emulating the fact that Gosei Ultimate uh, resembles their, the outside of their command center. On the inside, Gosei sitting on the wall. So it's got a nice thing. Plus, there is little pegs built into Gosei Ultimate right here for the 4-inch figures to attach to. So that's always really cool as well. Uh, so you can fit probably maybe 4 on here if you only do 1 foot. 2 if you do both. 
Uh, and then to have another one like in the middle or something and Robo Knight just like hanging out on top of Ghosty's head or something. So you can have the entire team hanging out in the base. Um, it, it doesn't really add a whole lot to the toy, but it has a secondary display option. It's something the Japanese version doesn't have. And it uh, it actually really works for for it, I think, and I, I really I really dig it. So, like I said before, I just really really like this toy. In terms of additions to the Zord Builder system, you do have Zord Builder ports right at the feet, at this rotation right here. So you have Zord Builder ports right there, so you can attach uh, Samurai, Mega Force, or MMPR 2010 Zords onto the feet as well as on the arms right here so you can attach various arm zords onto it as well that is it with that you can't take off the head or anything like that so it's only the two legs and the two arms but it gives you four more pieces to mess around with and some pretty interesting combinations by using go see ultimate's very signature chest right here uh, to make some pretty cool combinations at $34.99 base retail $29.99 at other locations uh, it's definitely worth it. If you're a collector of Ghost Sager and you just never got Ghost Age Ultimate, it's a pretty nice stand-in. You're going to have to deal with the fact that it's going to be small next to your Ghost Sager mecha. But uh, in terms of functionality, it retains everything about the Japanese release outside of the removable Zords. And you don't particularly need that uh, a whole lot, especially if you're crossing Japanese and English lines. Um, if you're a Mega Force collector, this is a great addition to the lineup. Uh, like I said, it adds a lot of playability in the Zord Builder system. Plus, the base mode I think is a really cool original thing that it could do. Uh, the spaceship mode's cool, and the Megaz Megazord mode itself, I just really, really like the look of. And uh, probably one of my favorite Mega Force toys to come out. I just it's simple to the fact that it's a, as a standalone toy if you have no other megazords it's still a really fun toy it doesn't need other toys in order to be fun but it adds a bunch of playability to itself when you do have the other toys uh so really it's a win-win no matter what direction you look at it very cool these were spotted at walmart stores i picked this up at kmart online actually uh for once kmart gave me the right toys so uh, yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, I should be sprouting out um, at other retailers hopefully soon. But keep checking your Walmarts if you haven't picked up this guy already. Or order online from Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, Kmart.com. So thanks for watching. Take care and have a great one. Bye.